Okay, here we go. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to tell you as much as I can about this car, uh, and I can tell you right up front. It's it's. I think it's pretty. This is me personally. I think it's pretty rare, and it doesn't doesn't belong to me. It belongs to a friend of mine. But and I'm gonna tell you why I think it's rare. So number one, it has the uh, has the 350. This is factory stuff. And this is all original. 350, 225 horse TB uh, TBI uh, engine with the VIN number stamped on the engine. It also has, uh, uh, believe it or not, it's got the Borgwon a nine bolt rear axle from the fa you know from the factory. Uh, and the other thing that to me that makes this really rare is it doesn't have any power options. So whoever got this wanted to just go fast. So they didn't do any power options, uh, no AC, uh, none of the power door locks, any, the power windows, any of that stuff. And the other thing is no T-tops. So here's the thing, and, I, and I, I, I don't have any way to prove this, but uh, other than the uh, 87 convertible IROCs, I, was, I, was, I read on there that they said that almost every 87 IROC hardtop that came from the factory was ordered with T-tops. There were very, very few that didn't have T-tops, and this is one of them. And, and there's no way to prove how rare that is, but I'm assuming it's pretty darn rare. So you're talking about a, you know, the, a car that someone ordered that all they cared about was how how fast they could go. And this looks like it's got some really nice three-inch, you know, uh, Flowmaster exhaust on it too. So, anyways, I'm gonna just do walk around, and show it to you. Uh, it is original black car, uh, and I mean, this thing's a killer. It's got the uh, four-speed automatic transmission. At some point, somebody took those louvers out. It looks to me like they they cleaned them up and sprayed them with silver. You know, obviously, I could have taken those out and maybe redone them, but I just just not interested in doing any more of that stuff. Uh, you can see the the rims. I, I, the tires are decent. The rims are okay. They probably should be redone. They don't have those. None of them have those center cap things uh, that would have been on there. It has got the IROC insignias. It's got the uh, oh the other thing is it does have the uh, the pull down rear gate uh, that works with the key up and it does work but the the, uh, the one that was in the gate in the uh, uh, in the inside the car that little switch that was a remote one that's not connected so don't, I, I don't know I, I, I just can't answer any some of these questions so you can see that the, it's pretty nice so again that does work and pulls down fine I mean you can see those Look at those three-inch Flowmasters. That's the end zone right there, the chrome. Z28. I've decoded all the RPO codes. So you can see everything that came on this car. Four-wheel disc brakes. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you about this. It's got that aftermarket stereo, which is pretty darn nice. It's got two cracks on the dash. Same spot on both sides. There's one. I guess you can, hopefully you can see it right, right there. Keep walking around. I'm gonna start it in a second. Let you hear, listen to it run. Pretty killer. And that other crack and dash is in the same spot on the other side, kind of right there. So let's hop in this car and see if we can start it. The door. Probably needs a pin. That this door needs a pin, I think. The overhead light has power, so I'm assuming it's got to be probably that switch right there. So let me get grab my keys. Now, here we go. Hop in. You can see the mileage. What 66 412, but obviously this car is going to be mileage exempt, just because we don't have any documentation. So let's we'll see if it's, hopefully it'll start right up. Tack works. The gauges work. I mean, with, we're assuming the fuel gauge works, but you know, all the lights work, blinkers. Now that's that stereo. Now let's see, it's called Dual. It's a really nice AM, FM, CD player. It's got the, you know, the removable faceplate heater works but it just I don't know it just didn't get hooked up there's a crack in the in the armrest right there see ya I mean you see look so everything's no power 
no AC. Roll up the windows. So I'm gonna just get out, let you see the engine, listen to it run. Sounds sounds pretty nice to me. You know, they got the car. When you got the car, they they pull the fuel tank, put a put a new uh, a a new fuel sending you a new fuel pump, which is actually is in the gas tank. Cleaned all the gas tank out, put new gas in it, changed the oil. Uh, did all those things up right up front. And I do have a bunch of the VIN numbers. You'll see them. Everything's pretty solid. I guess you gotta, you just gotta hear it though. <laughs> I mean, to me, that's the sound right there. Love it. The power steering. There you go. I mean, it's it's, it's the 3, 350 engine, and I did said there's a picture of actually the VIN number on the block, which I had to take the alternator out to get to it, but I did it and I showed it to you. So there you go. So I'm gonna close this up. Step back. So there you go. 1987 IROC. You know, it's got the 350, 225 Haas, got the 9-bolt uh, Borgwana rear axle, believe it or not. No T-tops, no AC, you know, go fast, go straight ahead, and everything else seems to be really nice. And I'm sure you'll have a lot of questions. That's, that's about all I can tell you about it, other than, you know, you probably saw there's like a little rip in the seat and stuff, but I kind of tried to put all that in, the, in my ad, so this is just the video. So other than that, if you got any questions, let me know. Checking out.